Hey everybody, it's Joe from Joe's World Tour. Um, I'm gonna make you today, it's called Super Bowl Salsa. This is the greatest salsa in the world. It's a red salsa, it's not that spicy, but it's great. This is great to bring to your Super Bowl party next week and impress all your friends and family with this badass salsa. And you don't even use it for, you can have it for any day of the week with your tacos and enchiladas, chimichangas, and anything your heart desires. You can put it on huevos rancheros, and you can grab like uh, biscuits and put gravy on it, and then you can put my salsa on it, and that's how good it's gonna be. Oh my God, where's the salsa been? This stuff should be bottled, and it's really simple. You don't need to, uh, there's only so many ingredients, and you need to write it down to remember. There's tomatoes, whole tomatoes, a can of whole tomatoes. Um, there's garlic, salt. Uh, cilantro. And uh, whole jalapenos, eight to 10. So this is what I'm using. I'm using some garlic salt. This is what you need. Write this down, guys. Ingredients. You need garlic salt. I went to Target. And it's like a buck. You need an onion, yellow, white, I don't care. Just don't put red, okay? A lot of, you know, people, you know, who don't know how to cook put red onions and I mean you can, but it's just not traditional. Use the yellow, it's great. Uh, hunts, whatever, I don't care what it says. Fred's tomatoes, I don't know, as long as it's whole tomatoes, I don't care. Two cans, uh, the 28 ounce. You want some measuring spoons to make your life easier because you're going to be measuring out the uh, garlic salt. These are the jalapenos. You need 10 of them. And you're going to boil them in the water, okay? And then you're going to take the seeds out so it's not super duper hot so you can handle it. I mean, if you like super duper hot salsa, good for you. Keep the seeds in. I personally don't like seeds because I like to enjoy my food. I don't like to be all, ah. anyway, so. We're gonna boil these 10, 12 minutes until they're really soft, and we're gonna cut them open, and we're gonna take the seeds out. So you need 10 of these. There's like 99 cents a pound at the store, and don't, don't always remember. Don't when you're dealing with jalapenos, never touch your eyes or your inside of your ears or other places if you know what I'm talking about, because it's gonna burn, and then you're really in trouble. And then you walk into the, uh, you know, to the. Uh, the emergency room, and they're going, why is it burning down there? I, you know, jalapenos, you know, I had this, working with jalapenos, and there you go. Anyways, and you need some cilantro. Smell it, it always looks like parsley. You're gonna make a mistake. Cilantro, it smells so good. You can put this on a piece of charcoal, and you bite into this, and that's how good, it's like, oh my God, it tastes so good. I love cilantro, it's my favorite herb, or is it herb? Hmm. Anyways, I love cilantro. I could sleep with this. I could just, you know, take this in the shower and just shower with it. It's so good. Put soap on it. Put it in my hair. You know, it's really good. Anyways, gang, so I had the water boiling, and I'll get back to you in a sec, and I'll show you the next step to making Super Bowl salsa, or Joey's Famous Salsa, or Joe's Epic. Whatever gets the most hits on YouTube, I don't care, just call it whatever. Just try it out, guys. It's great. You'll really enjoy it. And stay tuned. I'm going to get on to the other side of the camera so I can turn it off, okay? Here we go. Close-up shot. Close-up shot. Anyways, we're just dicing the onion here. Like this. And like I said, it's going to end up pureed, so it doesn't really have to be pretty, like on TV. You know, like those Iron Chef guys. Okay, gang. And now we're going to um, open up a can of salsa here of uh, tomato sauce. Open up my can of tomato sauce here. I like to leave the... Uh, a little bit on so the lid doesn't fall off into it. There we go. 
And then take like a half a bunch of the cilantro, and that's what we're going to use, okay? Half a bunch. And we're just going to give it this shot, like this. And like I said, we're just going to rough chop this because it's going to end up pureeing anyways. So, next step is we're going to get a big bowl. I have my big bowl here. And we're going to dump the tomatoes into the bowl, like this. Yummy. Like that. And then we're going to throw everything in here, into the bowl. You can see it's very colorful. Okay, gang. Uh, this, uh, I guess I'm living high in the high altitude in Lake Tahoe because this is taking forever for this stupid thing to boil. So hold on. I'll be with you in a second. Okay, we're back. So now we're about to throw our jalapenos into the boiling water. So just grab them, throw them in the water, guys. And this will help um, soften them up so when you puree it, it's just like butter. And easier to take the seeds out. So now these dudes are boiling. And we got um, those on the boil. And we got our whole tomatoes, onions, and cilantro in the bowl. So our next step is to be, we're going to pull out the jalapenos. We're going to pull out the seeds and chop these up and throw them in the bowl with the rest of the goodies. And we'll shall, I shall return. All right. It's time to take out the jalapenos. And what I'd like to do is, uh, being that they've been cooking, you can see they're starting to change color, and the skin's just really easy to peel off. Is I like to uh, put them in an ice bath and stop the cooking. So that's what we'll do. Let's get some water and some ice cubes. No big deal. So we'll put them in an ice bath. Like this. Like that, and like that. So now they're cooling off in this beautiful ice bath. And um, turn off the heat. And then what I like to do is save the water with the jalapeno in the water and then I like to strain it. And then I like to uh, put it in ice cubes and freeze it and then put it in my drinks. I'm just kidding, anyways. So, let's pour this out. Do it without burning yourself. And so the next step is, uh, you can see the jalapenos are, is I'm gonna take the seed, the, the stems off, see how easy? Like this. I'm gonna take the stems off. The jalapeno, and this is where you start to sneeze because you can, you can feel it. Oops. And people ask me, where did you get this uh, recipe, Joe? Well, you know, I used to uh, travel a lot, and then um, I was in uh, Machu Picchu, uh, looking at the, on all the. I was in a cave in Machu Picchu in Peru. And uh, I looked up and I saw this uh, salsa, Super Bowl salsa recipe written on the uh, on the cave wall. So uh, I wrote it down. That's where I got it. Anybody wants to know? 
Anyways. Okay, gang, so we're back. So we're gonna give us a puree here. If you don't have one of these sticks, I'd say go to the store and buy a blender. Usually everybody has a blender. So feel free to use a blender. I'm gonna use a stick just for, you know, whatever. Cause I bought it, I need to use it. Okay, here we go. Put it in there. We're just incorporating everything. See how it's turning to it? There's a lot of salsa. There's only two cans, guys. And as you can see, the it's getting to me, so I'm going to cough a little bit. <coughs> so you can always double the recipe, gang. Okay? If you need more salsa, double the recipe. Look how beautiful this is. All the colors. Oh my god. It's gorgeous. So you <clears throat> puree it as much as you want. If you want it more chunky, puree it, puree it less. And I like this consistent consistent. I like the way this looks. <laughs> Anyways. So now we gotta taste it. And I'm gonna add some garlic salt. So this is where the flavor, the taste comes in, and this is where you guys need to taste, taste it. So I like to at least start with a teaspoon of garlic salt. So I'm gonna put a teaspoon of garlic salt in there. I'm gonna puree it, and then I'm gonna taste it and see if the flavor is what I want it to be. A couple spoons here for tasting. So we're gonna put We're gonna put a teaspoon in. Take it around. And let's give it a whirl. Oops, making a mess here. And get a little stir. Give it a little taste. Really good. I'm gonna do two. This is the second. This is two teaspoons. Stir it around. Might even be faster to do that. Okay, let's try this. Another clean spoon here. Tasting. Really good. Let's do one more. So that's now three teaspoons of garlic salt I have. Stirring it here. Grab another spoon. We don't like to double dip. There you go. That's good. You know what? I'm gonna try a half. Oh, what the hell? Let's do one more teaspoon. So it's like four. I don't know. I lost count.
and four teaspoons. Got a clean spoon, let's test it. That's it guys, four teaspoons of garlic salt. That's how I like it to taste. Anyways, that's my salsa recipe guys. I hope you enjoy it. Give it a shot. And tell everybody that uh, I really appreciate you guys watching my channel. And share this recipe with everybody. You'd be a hero. You'd be the party, the hero of the party. And I appreciate everybody subscribing, all my subscribers. And happy new year, everyone. <clears throat> and stay tuned for some more funny videos. But this stuff is the bomb. Thanks for watching. <laughs>